everyone, welcome to my final haul of 2022 and my first video of 2023. Everyone, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and a fantastic new year. Hope everyone's not suffering too much with a hangover. I probably will be. I had Jamie and Chris round last night. If you know the channel, you'll know that we, we like to work hard, play hard is what we'll say. Guys, I've got a little bit of a confession to make. So always on new year, I like to make a video setting out my targets and my goals for the coming year and I haven't achieved what I wanted to achieve last year so um, I'll talk through what I wanted to achieve last year and I'll talk through what I want to achieve this year and I'm going to write them down apparently guys if you write down your targets a psychologist told me this I didn't go and see a psychologist but someone who I played golf with you are 80% more likely to achieve them you listen then. yeah something you're more likely to achieve them so we're going to write them down see what we can achieve and the first one is to be a good dad because we are welcoming a child to the world in the summer, so I'm absolutely buzzing for that a little boy. Um, if you saw the video on Christmas Day, then thank you all for your kind messages, and um, you're looking forward to it as well, aren't you? Can't wait. <laughs> so, what are the confessions that I want to make? You see, last year I set myself a goal within numbers for the YouTube channel, 200,000. We achieved that this year, so thank you so much for that, or should I say last year. I also said I wanted to set up a podcast. Now, that's something which I haven't done, and that's something which I'm really annoyed about. Unfortunately, time just hasn't 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 helped us with that. I've travelled a lot more this year. Obviously, the year before that was COVID. You weren't allowed to travel. And this year, I feel like I've kind of made up for that. We also got married in the summer, so there was that went on honeymoon. Um, but we do have a podcast in the pipeline with myself and Chris. It is going to be golf related, so make sure you do stay tuned for that. And obviously, we did set up Get Good at Golf as well, which is going from strength to strength. So thank you so much for that. There are memberships coming soon on there as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you want online lessons and little goodies and things like that. So that's my kind of confession about the podcast. It's not happened yet. It will happen. It's definitely on the list for this year. Um, to be honest, I just don't really... I'm not kind of one that likes the sound of my own voice that much. I enjoy making the videos, but not so much anything else. Right. Final tee shot of the year using um, my wife's driver. We have been filming with these today, guys. Check out the video if you want to see it. Right. Although I think one of my New Year's resolutions has to be to start playing golf with clubs a little bit more easy to hit because those Cobras have sort of put me back in my place. He's running back for something, he's forgot his head cover. Unfortunately, the poor lad hasn't found what he's looking for. Is there a song there? Oh my God, that is at him as well. Get down! Right. So one of my New Year's resolutions for last year as well was to play more social golf. And I'm pleased to say I have done that. I've played a few rounds with my dad. I went out to Spain with my mum and dad. And yes, because golf is very much my work as well. So I like to think that this head cover is the most annoying thing in the world. I like to think that if I get out and do some filming like today, me and Laura have been out pretty much all day. We've done loads and loads of filming. But then me and Chris, uh, we've got a few trips coming up and we've actually said we're going to try and get actual rounds of golf in where we're not just filming, where we're not just working, we're not just doing get good at golf videos. We're actually going to have some enjoyable golf time, which again, I don't think I'm perfect with it at the moment, but I'm certainly doing more. I'm certainly playing in a few club comps at Woolley as well, which I'm enjoying. One of the big things that I'd like to do more is practice. So. A couple of years ago, I said I'm going to take more lessons, which I've done this year. I had a lesson with the best golf coach in the world, Peter Cowan. And then I did a video last week where I kind of said, I've not got any better. I had a lesson with the best golf coach in the world. He's taught the best players in the world, and I've not got any better. Is that Pete's fault? Absolutely not. I need to designate time to work on my game aside from making videos to help you guys with your games, to help you guys think about what clubs to use. What's going to help that, and I can't tell you too much just yet, we have a massive project that's been ongoing for months and months and months, which has taken up a lot of our time actually, with one of the probably biggest golf brands in the world, especially in the Southern Hemisphere, give you a clue, but that's going to come to fruition very, very soon. So if I'm going to be able to give myself more time, then I should be able to practice more. I've got no interest in competing, but I'd love to think that I can just practice and actually play better golf. I've actually, well, I've actually, I've actually hit some really, really good shots today because after the lesson I made about the Pete Cowan lesson, I sort of had a quite word with myself and have started hitting more balls, started hitting just 50 balls after work 
and we can all kind of vouch that that helps more than anything and makes you ready for the coming season. And another thing that I'd like to work on, another kind of New Year's resolution, a work one this time, is I'd like to listen to you guys' comments more. I go through all the comments, unfortunately we have a lot of spam comments as well, which really does get in the way of me being able to read them and reply to them. Obviously be careful with the spam comments. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm pretty tired of getting emails and messages and things like that saying, I've won this, guys you've not won, you've not. Whenever we do, we do a lot of giveaways, when we do the draws, it's always on my community tab, it's never through it, it would never be through a comment, it wouldn't be, so be very, very careful and tell your friends to be careful as well but i want to listen to your comments more i want to reply to them more and i want to make videos on what you want as well so guys get in the comments this year let's get more interactive ask questions ask what you would like to see tell me what product reviews you'd like to see i'm very very lucky that i get hands on with a lot of golf products from around the world if there's anything you want to see let me know guys in the comments in videos that's the best way to get in touch he's gone he's called it laura he must have lost his golf clubs <clears throat> and on the side of that a personal one i like to do is lose a little bit of weight so we've had a lot going on this year as you can probably tell and i've sort of let fitness run out the window that's something i'd like to try and do i've got plans of running a marathon next year which i have done before but i'm obviously going to have to get back in some certain shape a lot of people in the comments are telling me i need to do that as well thank you i think there's a, there's a way there's a way of doing that isn't there but anyway um right six iron can we birdie the final hole of the year Oh, I've hit that so good again. The wind's just moving it a bit. Should cling on to the left-hand side of the green. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So guys, my hopes and dreams and aspirations and New Year's resolutions are all good and well, but uh, this channel wouldn't be what it is without you guys. So get in the comments below and let me know. In fact, list them down, guys, because I, I wrote mine down. I'll show you them all at the end of this video. Remember, if you write them down, you're more likely to achieve them and get your goals. So let me know what are your New Year's resolutions. Give me three. Give me a personal one, give me a work one, uh, and give me a golf one as well, because I think it's important to spread out what you're trying to achieve, not spread yourself too thin, but make sure that they're kind of achievable and make sure you've got plans in place to get them. So none of the things that I'm talking about today, I'm not just thinking, oh, I want to do that. There's a plan in place to be able to achieve them. So get in the comments below, let me know. And if you want to throw a like on this video, fantastic. Guys, the next few weeks are going to be very, very hectic with golf club releases. You've probably seen little snippets of things. You've probably seen what's going on. I'm going back out to LA on the 3rd of January for a couple of days. And then I'm going out to Orlando for the PGA show as well. So if anyone's out there, then get in touch. Um, we are looking for a few places to play golf as well. So yeah, get in the comments below and let me know what your New Year's resolutions are. Right, just clue on. Let's go with, try and chip in for the final shot of the year. Hopefully, we're not going to see too much more of this. I know winter has just begun, but I'm starting to get a little bit bored of this in the UK. I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. If this goes in, if, if this goes in, then we're going to get to 300,000 subscribers next year. nowhere near hopefully we'll get to 250 guys thank you so much for watching i really have enjoyed it thank you so much for the support last year with this being new year's day hope you had a fantastic time enjoy your golf that's all i've really got to say and apart from that i'm going to give myself that for a part in fact i'm not because people would absolutely lose their minds if i did that i'm going to put this in with my wife's putter for a par on the final hole of 2022 and all i've got left to say is thank you everyone for everything and I'll see you very soon. Yes!